What's the biggest difference in your life since the show's aired? Um, how about uh, all the incredible fan art I've gotten? Fan art is amazing. Is this some of it? No, this is just something I made on the computer. I was like, I feel easy. You made that? Yeah. I have a whole room. I had to move apartments to get an extra room just to hold all the oil paintings that people <laughs> give me. No, but all the fan art is just incredible that these kids spend so many hours to, sh to be like, this is for you. And I'm just like, I couldn't be more ha like happy. Has your drag changed at all? I mean, you're go you're, we're getting a lot of cool gigs. Are you seeing a lot of cool cities? What's going on? You see my hands? Hands down, my favorite town I've performed in has <laughs> still been Austin. Austin, Texas? Texas? Oh, yeah. uh, oh, did you meet any other Drag Race girls that you haven't met? I met Nina Flowers in Denver. The kindest, most incredible <laughs> I've ever had in the hotel afterwards. <laughs> you know who actually I really liked? Jay Jolie. I met I, I Jay met... Jolie in, uh, I want to say Ohio, or I can't remember where I met her, where her, but she was awesome, and she's gorgeous, cool. and she genuinely looks like Taylor Swift, like in your real life. Cool. Hey, where are you excited to go uh, next? Australia. No, you're going to ask me too. I'm going to, uh, on a London tour with Robbie. I'm going on a London tour with Layla. Layla McQueen is literally three feet tall. She's like this tall. Layla, are you here? Layla? Layla. This is like, this is Layla. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about your song. I did a song called Purse, Purse, Purse. Which, Purse. by the way, has gotten ridiculous. And you just auctioned that off at the con. $800, someone bought their purse. And it goes towards a charity. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> True Colors Foundation in New York City, which is uh, Cindy Lauper's Queer Youth. So who would be the biggest gag? Like, not like, I hope, I hope, I hope, the biggest gag from New York City on season nine. Well, this is the thing too, I get asked this question a lot, like, who do you want to see on the show season nine? I'm like, hmm, I just like actually want to see like somebody like Grace Towers. You know who I would love to see? Who, who, who? Uh, I, want, I, I like drama, I'm not gonna lie. Everyone's like, I don't want it to be about the drama. Yes, I you do. I love the drama. I want, she's actually a great queen and she's certifiably crazy, is Logan Hardcore. And that is, the name is Fitting. She would enter like falling from it. They'd be like, where is all <laughs> the like team? Some where's big Logan? Splits. Logan. Bam! Tina Burner would be great. Yeah, Tina would be, Tina, she's wild, that girl is crazy. She'd be racist, <laughs> wrong, she'd talk about rape and drug, like non, they, they would have like one edit of her. Oh, uh, people are shocked that you're tall. Yeah, I get that a lot, you're so tall. I'm like, yeah, wasn't I tall on the show? Like yeah. next to everybody? And I'm also, it's like, I'm me standing next to Thorgy, standing next to Naomi, standing next to Kim, Kim we're Chica. all tall. Yeah. How are you feeling about tomorrow? There's a marathon. Are you ready for top three you think you're gonna win? I've come to a point where I can literally accept win, draw, or lose. I've, I've played out every scenario Like in my you feel head. like you did a good job, win or yes. lose? Yes. You wanna <laughs> skip off into the, to the sunset again? Like you Yay, best friends, ow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, squirrel friend, when one video ends, just open up another one. It's called binge viewing. Go ahead. I support you. <laughs>